hello and welcome to Right Now for Monday the 20th of November 2017. I'm Tim Williams. While the Marriage Law Postal Survey and the now only week away Queensland state election is the main focus of the national media, there have been a series of by-elections taking place around the country. The first over the weekend was a state by-election in the inner city Melbourne seat of Northcote, brought about by the death of Andrews Government Minister Fiona Richardson. These contests have always been between Labor and the Greens, with Labor usually able to fend the Greens off. However, the Greens were able to pull off a 10% swing in Northcote in a stunning result for them, which shows that the greening of inner city electorates around the country is becoming a reality. The federal by-elections caused by the dual citizenship saga, uh, Barnaby Joyce easily looks set to be re-elected in New England on December the 2nd, however the Sydney seat of Benelog on December 16th is looking like a much closer contest with Liberal John Alexander up against Labor's alleged star candidate and former Labor Premier and Sky News presenter Christina Keneally. Despite Keneally's baggage from her time as Premier, the race is neck and neck and the outcome could actually bring down the Turnbull government. The Federal Government's Royal Commission into the Protection and Detention of Children in the Northern Territory has released its recommendations. It was set up by Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull after a Four Corners episode which showed prison guards at the Dondale Youth Detention Centre using strong force to restrain detainees. One of the youths who was featured prominently in that story was Dylan Voller, who was restrained in a spit hood. He was the pin-up boy for this Royal Commission and got a standing ovation when he gave evidence. Of course, always overlooked was the fact that he committed over 50 crimes in a five-year period. The recommendations of the $54 million Royal Commission are that Dondale will be shut, the age of criminal responsibility increased to 12, and the entire Youth Justice Act rewritten. The Northern Territory Chief Minister Michael Gunner has already accepted the recommendations, and we will wait to see if this results in less youth crime, as the safety of the community should always be paramount in these situations. The Nationals opposed to the government's planned steamrolling of same-sex marriage through the Parliament with minimal religious protections are planning to retaliate by voting with Labor and the crossbench to establish a Royal Commission into the banking industry. I'm not sure if these Nationals have realised that they would actually be giving the left more of what they want, but they are looking to take this course of action in an attempt to undermine Malcolm Turnbull's authority, which is made easier by the fact that they are two seats down in the lower house due to by-elections. Given that there has already been much scrutiny of the bank's uh, financial services practices, including various parliamentary inquiries, one wonders if another long-drawn-out Royal Commission costing the taxpayer millions of dollars is really the way forward. Thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and check back here tomorrow to see what is happening right now then.